Hello everyone and welcome to Club Reaction to Rangers 4 Hibernian now a rather enjoyable date at Ibrooks. I'm with Ryan Haymart, so you're going to give us a wee bit more? Hello and good evening guys, yes, very enjoyable. <laughs> I was almost hot with it guys, yeah. how are you going Ali? Yeah. Four goals, a clean sheet and up the road, I'll take it every weekend. Yeah, you've got to take it I suppose. Look, I, I, had, a, I had a smile on my face at points today at Ibrooks and as the light apart goes out, light. apart from that light. Um, I was uh, I was pleased with some of the stuff that we've seen today. I don't think we can be too disappointed as a as a the first game under a new manager to us to get four goals at Ibrox and a clean sheet. I can't really complain. The only thing, maybe from the start of the day, mate, was we seen the the team sheet and we all would, we raised the eyebrows. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we've seen the if you want to say the usual suspects in the team sheet. Scott Wright was there who. Um, was with Ryan and Hall at Tur in Turkey there. He, he was back. He was Twice. back in the, the team. The team lineup. Dessers. I'd have played Ruth, but he's obviously not fit enough to play. So Dessers and Lammers was in as well. So the the two Whitten boys, if you want to say, in Dessers and Lammers. So, but I, you need to caveat with he's not got much to pick from. So I wasn't overly shocked to be honest. This lighting situation's a bit of a nightmare. Um, Ryan, when you seen the start of 11, we did. We, 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 if I'm not going to lie, mate, we all went, Eek. it's pretty much the same thing as it always has been. I think it's the scar tissue for this season. You're just looking at the line up, you're thinking, I dislike every single one of those players just because of the way the season's went. Yeah. When I looked at it again, I thought to myself, you know, he's not got much to pick from. Also, he's a, he's a new manager. I think I would put bets on that he's probably looked at the squad and spoke to him and said, I've seen every single thing you've done this season. You've got one chance here. Um, do not go out there and disappoint me today. And I don't think many of them did. I don't think many of them did either. Honestly, I don't. I think as today goes, in terms of a, a home game at Ibrox in the league, I can't ask for much more. Um, obviously, everybody's very excited as we are by parting their horns as much as they are, but the... I wasn't disappointed today at all. I thought from the pretty much the start, we've seen Ali, I think we've seen a lot more... Now, I don't want to go over the top, generally I don't. I know it's early days and there's still very much work to be done, but we've seen a lot more dig in this team, a lot a wee more heart, dare I say it, a bit more desire in the team. Yeah, but I, th I thought I saw a bit of belief in them. I, I thought we started well with Rangers. Um, the thing was get getting the ball, getting the head up and moving it forward for me. And uh, we, we don't, We've not done that under Beal. We've been lethargic. It's pedestrian at times. I didn't think we were that especially the first 20 minutes with Rangers I thought we were bright on the front foot and Hibs were never really in the game at the beginning of the start I was disappointed in Hibs oh no come on to Hibs but um, I thought they would come at Rangers and they really didn't but we took the game to Hibs and what we should be doing at Ibrox and yeah I thought we started very well yeah obviously Ryan I know what I'm coming to you because I know what you're going to say Barisic goes off an injury mate and Yelmaz comes on and you said as soon as you met as he changed the game to a certain extent I probably think that I would go along with that but I think another man that really stepped up today, and he has been in form for us recently, but I think she must stepped up today for for Rangers. And he was the one that ultimately got us off the mark, mate. But with Yelmaz coming on, I'll give you it, mate, he did change how the left-hand side of the, the team looked. Aye, we have a joke about me not liking Borna Barisic, and I'm pro Yel Red Van Yelmaz. Listen, like I've said many times, joking aside, it's all about Rangers. I don't really care if they're... If they're Whoever it is, if Bolin Barisic is the one that's playing well, then I'm, I'm happy as long as you're playing well for Rangers. Bolin Barisic got off injured today, and I sent a wee jokey message to the group chat saying <laughs> I'll be playing Celtic next weekend. Uh, I thought Young Lads played well today. I thought his first touch was attacking, it was positive. I think he caught out a couple of times, let's not uh, be fooled that he was, he was perfect, he wasn't, but it was a positive performance from Red Van Young Lads, which he needed. Uh, Seema was, was very good today, and as one of the first first names in the team sheet. He guys. has to be just now, yeah. I think the, on form alone, yeah. Aye, to yeah. Me, and, and also he's he's turned it around because I well I don't know I can't remember if you guys said it. Him and a guy good. that we're gonna come on to later on, um I wrote the two of them off. I said the two of them just have not shown me anything. See my now is first name one of the first names in the team sheet Jack Bottom beside. He's playing very well and, and he deserves he deserved to start today and listen his, his, his goals are brilliant I know come on to him his goals are brilliant but yeah Red Van Yilmaz he just changed our attacking sense I think Borna Banish is very safe whether it's mentality or not or whether it's just his time's up it doesn't matter Red Van Yilmaz was positive today and he needs a run in the team 
If he can stay fit. If he can stay fit, exactly. Ali, we we fluttered with the idea of falling into the lull again, I think, for about maybe about eight to ten minutes. I'm going to be generous because it was about eight to ten minutes where I thought we we're going to go into this lull that we'd seen under Beal, but we didn't it didn't really come. I think the the midfield I think the whole team, generally, I do think the whole team put in a shift to try and not let that happen. And Raskin scores from I don't know how many yards it was, 30 yards maybe, yeah, about 30 yards. Know. An absolute peachy I go into the, the bottom left-hand corner, mate, and to take us into the, the break at 2-0. And at that point I thought, and you could feel it in Ibrooks, we all thought, we're not going to lose this game today. Yeah, I, we did fall into that wee lull, like you say, Carney. It, it was brief it though, was brief. It, it wasn't was, the it, same. It, no. it wasn't the same that we've, we've witnessed at Ibrooks and we, we, we sort of snapped out, if you want to say, and... Don Robertson, the referee in New York, shocking, morning, him, Carney. Shocking. Didn't he help the situation? I know we can say it's oh, won a game 4 0, but he was horrific today. Yeah, he was. Um, we probably didn't score that goal for Don Robertson because yeah, he aye. should have probably given a foul earlier on. Yeah, but, have, yeah. Um, I Raskin, we asked for midfielders of Rangers to shoot from outside the box. It never happens with Rangers. He shoots and then he scores with it 2 0. Yeah, I never, I'll be honest, Carney, I never feel in danger today with this Rangers team. And it's something you would say with Rangers this season, you always felt there's something coming from the other team. I never felt it today. No, I neither did I. I didn't feel it today. Um, into the second half, I thought Rangers kind of continued on the, the same vein as we did in the first. I didn't really, I don't really think we let Hibs get into the game at all. Hibs didn't offer very much. I'm not going to sit here and pretend this is the best Hibs game, the best Hibs team that we've ever seen. But in terms of what Rangers done, I can't really be, I can't really be too negative about what we've seen because Ryan, we were seeing players flying into tackles we were seeing players looking like they were backing each other as if they were giving each other a wee bit of encouragement from time to time where the time I seen him was down the left hand side skinned his man his cross was way over the bar but we had a number of players in the team going that's exactly what you should be doing you should be trying to do that and I thought it looked like all of a sudden there was a, a much higher team morale today Aye, it was almost as if they wanted to play football today yeah, they did, yeah. there was times this season where I've thought the players couldn't want to be anywhere else apart from on that pitch <clears throat> I think as a manager for Clavon I'm going to be touching on again I think he's just probably said to them pretty simply go out and, and do yourselves a favour and na- nail some sort of form to the, form to the, the master whatever you want to call it the Rangers the Rangers players all of them applied themselves today and I always going to application desire blah 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 I won't worry with it but he's but it applies today it does, t- it does apply, apply today, today because he said he wants physicality and he wants mentality and I think <laughs> it's one game it's a manager bounce whatever you want to call it, it but I'm going to, I'm going to go on today's this analysis for today's game Rangers were physical today I said in the, the pub earlier on Rangers players go dirty today they probably put more slide tackles in today than I've seen all season um, and they had a mentality where they wanted to put the game to bed they went up 1-0 they went up 2-0 and they were still looking for goals and they deserved they were good for the 4-0 today it wasn't one of these games where yeah, you look back and we got a penalty and it was a deflected goal and do you know what, it wasn't really a 4-0 game. Rangers were good for 4-0 today and it could have been more. It could have been more. Yeah, I completely agree. I thought Rangers were good for it all over the all over the pitch today. Um, Seema gets his second, mate, after a... Um, I'm going to say it because I know we're all, we're all in disagreement about this. I thought Dessel does as well as he could. Yes, he should probably score at the end of the chance that he creates for himself. He doesn't, it rebounds and it gets to Seema, but Seema finishes it very tidily to make it 3 0. But I think, and obviously, I might as well caveat, caveat, caveat it in just now. Dessel goes on to get a goal that I think is actually very clever. I think he waits for the defenders to commit themselves and he kind of passes the ball into the back of the net. I don't think Dessers was awful today. I'm not saying that he's the next rampage in Alfredo Morelos. I'm not saying that. But for a striker today, I was watching his movement. I thought he looked much more active. Yeah, there is still a lot of work to, a lot of work to be done with him. But if he doesn't do what he does for the uh, the chance to create the, the, the kind of block shot that leads to Seema's second, he doesn't score the he doesn't score the fourth one. It doesn't make it for now. I mean, it doesn't happen for him. He might have been a lucky at points today. I'm not full on the Dessel's bandwagon. I, I'm kind of going back and forth here. I do get that, but if he doesn't do what he does, I don't think Seema gets his second goal. Yeah, uh, I've had a, not a disagreement. The way no, you yeah, have had a disagreement. I've had a bit of it. Carney's on the not not the Dessel's train, but he's been back in Dessel's today. I, d- I thought Dessel was okay today for me. Um, that that one we're talking about for me, I, I think he should score. He, he probably should, score. should. Yeah, I think the difference between him and Seema is Seema scores goals. 
he's clinical for me, Seymour. Yeah, in, in open place, Seymour is erratic at times, but he scores goals. And then, for a strike on each score goals, it will come, well, I'd like to think it might come with Dessers will come on to the fourth goal, but for me, he should have scored at that point. He didn't. It came out to Seymour, clinical, bang, scores a goal. And that's why Seymour scored goals for Rangers and Dessers hasn't. So, um, I'm not bashing Dessers today. I, I thought he was okay, but that was a bit funny <laughs> so yeah you're not quite committing no. I'm not as I said Ryan I'm not saying that Dessers is the answer I'm definitely not but in terms of what we've seen before and what we've seen t from today I thought he showed a lot more today he was far more positive today and you've got to remember this is a guy that's pretty much on his ass the confidence levels he is and for me the worst player on the part today was Lammers it wasn't Dessers and it's not often I've said that well, aye listen Dessers scored a goal for Rangers today he just, listen at the cheer Gave you everything. It really did. It wasn't. It wasn't an overly. It wasn't, it wasn't a sarcastic no, cheer. I don't think it was. I think it was a warm. It was encouragement. A warm yeah, there was. Just like yeah, you there know there what? Was. Like well, we are behind you because we he's been booed be. off. He's yeah. been booed off. Yeah. He's like, let's not let's not make qualms about it. He's been booed yeah, off exactly. because his performances have been poor. But you know, we all want him to score. Like as I said earlier on the pod, we all want. It doesn't matter who it is. We want him to do well for Rangers, but yeah. He scored a goal for me. I didn't when we spoke when I first seen you. I was like, you said I thought Des has played well. I, I didn't think he played well. Not I'll be well. With you. Probably not well. Well, better than he has. Uh, better than he has. Yes. Not well. I'm not saying that he was. Yeah. He was. I know he was you're Fantastic, saying. but he was definitely better than what I he has. I think it's been. maybe to do with when any time I see him through and go or there's a chance I'm maybe getting a shot away. I think there's nothing happening here. Yeah. It is down his confidence, Ali. You're right. He's got to turn that around. He's got to play so out of that. Lack of confidence, a lack of form. He's got to do it. He's got to go today. And I said earlier on, I ain't come on, puts his arm around him, and goes like that. There, there you, you go. You scored. scored now. Yeah, I agree. Just with you. kick on now. Yeah. Forget whatever's happened under Beal, under whatever's happened before. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It'll lead to but you just concentrate on you and scoring goals, and that's all I want from you. And we'll see. We'll see. Do I have faith? No, I'm not silly. I've seen. I've seen a lot of him so far, and nothing's impressed me. But you know what? He's scored for Rangers today, and that's all that's important. That's all that's important, and that's probably where I'm at. That's probably the biggest bit that I mean about it is the fact that we've seen how poor he has been. But in order for him to do what he done today, I'm quite happy about it. Generally, I'm I'm quite happy about it. We'll see what comes of it. It might mean nothing. It might go back to being what he was. But you've got to take everything today's face value. And I, oh, I said to you before we even come on to um, this game in podcast previously, I was trying to approach this game as, with an open mind as possible. And I felt like Dessers today wasn't the worst. I thought Lammers was hopeless generally throughout the entire match I thought he was terrible Ali we've seen Todd Cantwell come back <sighs> you've just got to build the team on the guy Leaks up I works for me Todd Cantwell he's um, aye Everton are out we, we need Todd Cantwell you're, you're talking about Lammers there for me Lammers for me was again hopeless, I thought he was man. shocking today he was so bad it just he, he labours in a ball for me too much Cantwell gets up. You watch Todd Cantwell. Just watch him off the ball. Once the ball is moving, is brilliant. The goal for Dessers. Remember about Dessers scoring that goal. Todd Cantwell makes that goal. Yeah, he doesn't does. score the goal, but he makes it. He's so clever and he's pivotal going forward. And for me, Lammers. Well, Todd Cantwell plays that position, so Lammers for me is on at least on the bench now going forward. But um, he's huge for Rangers, Todd Cantwell. Absolutely, it's a breath of fresh air seeing Cantwell back in this team. Uh, his energy, his energy that this team is the only kind of shining light we had when things were dark last season, and then again this season, he was only one that was like trying energy about him on off the ball, constantly running, constantly trying to th make things happen for Rangers. You can see the love it has for. Playing for that jersey, I give me another ten of them, please. But you know, it was great to see him fit and great to see him finish the game without an injury. Um, more of that, please, and I agree with, with Ali. I think, I think it's a straight swap in terms of when you get into the semi final, mate. I think it's a straight swap that, yeah. that can't well plays. Whether you can get sixty minutes or whatever, it doesn't matter. I think Lammers is giving nothing at the moment. Nothing. I couldn't agree more, mate. I really couldn't. My match. Man and match, I want to give it to him. I'm not. I'll give it to Seema. Seema for me. Ah, of course yeah. I did. I want to give it to Elmas when he doesn't play. Um, and my other man and match is probably the Lightning Boys. The Lightning Boys have been brilliant. Ah, honestly, down. I was going to. Uh, I was going to go again. I don't they don't they never just, stop. Uh, you don't realise what goes on behind the scenes in yeah. the Club at 22. <laughs> but for me, Abdullah Seema was a. Uh, very positive, and I think Clemence will be very happy with how you played today. Absolutely, Seema for me as well, Ali. Phil House, Seema for me. Scored two goals, clinical. That's we're looking for guys that are clinical up front. We've been crying out for it for for years with Rangers. Yes, he's erratic, but 
his, um, his numbers don't lie and he scores goals for Rangers so I doubt I've seen him me all day long Yeah, um, credit to Ryan and Ali because every time I took the camera off them, we're trying to get that light to go back on <laughs> so abs- <laughs> absolute <laughs> credits to them absolute credits to them but yeah, look it was, I'm not going to say everything's perfect and everything's going to be hunky-dory from here or in but for a new manager to come in for us to score four goals at Ibrooks for players that we've maybe been coming and horn about to show a wee bit more form us and for the players in an in, 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 in entirety for the for the full squad to show a bit of dig a bit of heart and a bit of belief in themselves a bit of desire that's what we were looking for today 4-0 at Ibrox against Hibs I'll take it all day long yes there's work to do and I'm pretty sure Clement's not good after about that he knows there's more to come from this squad but from what I've seen today I left Ibrox with a smile on my face and that's all I can ask for it really is so until Tuesday when we're back with Club Deck Corner enjoy the rest of your weekend I'm sure you will we are Club at 22 the Rangers podcast cheers everybody